Welcome to How to Write in APA Style. This is a library instruction session for first year college students. I'm Lauren McGough. The American Psychology Association is the largest scientific and professional organization of psychologists in the United States. APA Style is a set of guidelines for effective scholarly communication that help writers present their ideas in a clear, precise, and inclusive manner. It is used not only for psychology papers, but the social sciences, humanities, and many more. APA style is used by writers in many disciplines around the world for concise, powerful, and persuasive scholarly communication, the American Psychology Association. In this guide, I will be describing how to use the seventh and most recent edition of the style guide. Some quick examples to get started. Here are citations for a book and a journal. The longer citation for the reference page and the shorter in-text citation to use within the paper. The APA publishes a print manual that is available in most libraries, but all information needed is on the APA style website linked with the URL here. Under the style and grammar guidelines section of the website, there are subtopics. Paper format in-text citations, mechanics of style, bias-free language, tables and figures, and references. These provide every aspect of information a writer would need to format papers in APA style. Author, date, title, and source are the four main building blocks for any APA style citation. When considering the author, you're asking who is responsible for this work. When considering the date, you're asking when was this work published. When considering the title, you're asking what is this work called. When considering the source, you're asking where can I retrieve this work. Using the same examples as before, author is shown in yellow, date is shown in aqua, title is shown in green, and source is shown in pink. There are other elements in some sources, but understanding these four will help you understand the others. These are the most common types of sources for academic papers, so I will focus on them. They are journal articles, books, and book chapters. There are many details that need to be followed to cite works correctly. Beginning with author, invert names so that the last name comes first, followed by a comma and the initials. Leave a space between initials. Retain the order of author's names. Place the copyright year in parentheses and end with a period. For the title of the book, capitalize the first letter of the first word. For a two-part title, capitalize the first word of the second part of the title. Also capitalize proper nouns, italicize the title, end with a period. Does the book have an edition or volume number? If so, include the number in parentheses after the title but before the period. If both, show edition first and volume second, separated by a comma. Do not put a period between the title and the parenthetical information. For the publisher, be sure to include the name of the publisher followed by a period. Do not include the publisher location. Are there multiple publishers? If so, separate them with a semicolon. Does the book have a DOI. Include a DOI if available. Do not include a URL or database information for works from academic research databases. Include a URL for ebooks from other websites. Do not put a period after the DOI or URL. 
book chapters. There are more things to add when citing just a chapter of a book. While everything else is the same, when citing a book chapter, you will add title of the book chapter after the date. Capitalize only the first letter of the first word. For a two-part title, capitalize the first word of the second part of the title. Also capitalize proper nouns, do not italicize, end with a period. Then it's the editors. Write the word in and the initials and last name, not inverted, of each editor. Use open parentheses, capital E, D, period, close parentheses for one editor or open parentheses, capital E, D, S, period, close parentheses for multiple editors, end with a comma. The title of the book will be without the edition. If it has one, right after the edition and page numbers will be formatted in parentheses as above. Include the chapter page range, end with a period. Include the number in parentheses before the page range. Show edition first and volume second, separated by a comma before the page range. Do not put a period between the title and the parenthetical information. Journal articles. In journal articles, author and year are formatted the same as before. The rest differs. For the title of the article, capitalize only the first letter of the first word. For a two-part title, capitalize the first word of the second part of the title. Also, capitalize proper nouns. Do not italicize, end with a period. Next is the name of the periodical. Capitalize all major words in the periodical name. Follow with a comma. Italicize the periodical name, but not the comma after. Next is the volume. Italicize the volume number. Do not put a space between the volume number and the parentheses around the issue number. Next is the issue number. Do not italicize the issue number or parentheses. Follow the parentheses with a comma. If there's no issue number, follow the volume number with a comma. Include the article page range. Use an end dash. Do not put spaces around the end dash. End with a period. If the article has a DOI, include for all works. Do not put a period after the DOI. But what should you do if you do not have all the information? Here are some strategies for creating reference citations when elements are missing. If the author is missing, you substitute the title for the author. If the date is missing, use n.d. for no date. If the date is missing, but it can be reasonably approximated, use ca dot followed by a year in brackets. If the title is missing, describe the document inside brackets. If the author and date are both missing, combine author and date methods. If author and title are both missing, combine author and title methods. Learning outcomes. What can you do now? You should be able to format a paper in APA style. Also, use APA style in text citations. You should be able to create a reference page and to utilize the mechanics of APA style. Learning assessment. Here are some hands-on exercises to complete. Please find errors in sample pieces of APA style writing. Also, accurately make citations in APA style. Here 
are the resources I used to create this slideshow. They are all formatted in APA style. Thank you for watching this presentation and I hope you learned a lot.